Look at this. Oh my god. Ah, uh, it it literally smells like my dad's perfume. Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, we are doing a review, a really nice, good, thorough review video. You know, we are going to do it. So today's video is about um, cuffs and lashes, which you of course again already read the title of. I have so much from them, like a whole bunch of things. I have, I think, almost a full face except like for foundation. So I'm really excited to try. I actually have a doubles of few things because I had PR and I wanted to add few things and I placed an order and I got more PR from the brand, which I'm very grateful about. But I have doubles, so do look out for giveaways. I do want to, I do want to do couple of giveaways here and there that being said so much new makeup let's dive in so i don't know if i uh, saw foundation or their website but i did not get one and i got one which is basically like a package which has a bundle of plus uh, bronzer eyeshadow etc etc and a paint pot vagera that is was around like uh, I don't remember how much it was I'll put it on the screen so I got that because I did want to review and I was like might as well get a bundle where I can try multiple things and I had a few things like I told you so for foundation I did not have anything so I'm going in with my Too Faced Bond This Way foundation but I do have a sponge I want to test for foundation so this sponge literally exploded like crazy it was so small when it was dry but now it like went poof it reminds me of the uh, morphe sponge though except that uh, it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot softer morphe sponges are a little like you know hard in texture so anyways going in with this dab 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 it's been a while i use sponge for foundation i've just been so much into brushes I was basically lazy to go like damp in the sponge. Even now I had to like pause the video, go dampen it. Calm is like too much. Brush is like already. Decent sponge, but I'm so not used to seeing my foundation this dewy. Like I feel brushes kind of don't add that wetness, right? So I'm suddenly like, why is this foundation looking like this? Why is it feeling like this? I'm like, Okay, it's just a sponge. Probably when I powder it, it's fine. But oh my god, it's so different for some reason. I'm just, I think it's been easily over six months I used a sponge for foundation. I used to not be able to do makeup without a sponge. But since the six to six months to one year, I know what happened. I just stopped using sponges altogether. But I mean, the finish they give us so nice. And yes, moving on to the next product, which is their. Uh, paint pot so this is the cuffs and lashes cover pots and this is rupees 299 and look at how cute that you know packaging is imagine for 299 you're getting such cute packaging i got the shade 10 which is pure beige i thought like this will suit me if it does not we cannot do anything at this point so they have same these cover pots for different um, you know colors like i have one more right here this is the red one so like basically if you want a red base paint to do creative makeup or something probably this will be useful i, I want to try that on the eyes let's see but for now let's go in with this uh, pure beige I'm yeah the shade definitely does not match it's a little too olive for my taste can you see it's like, like a little olive shade which is not my piece of cake but we're going to make this work literally i'm just like painting this on my face it's a paint pot right no it's not mac has paint pot this is just cover pot i think <laughs> that's the best i can do at this moment not that bad though like the color i think the shade is fine the undertone little bit like you know not my type but nevertheless we're going to see how it looks it's not working with the sponge let me try with a brush 
yeah it's much better with a brush much much better i don't know for some reason with the sponge it kind of um i'm not sure if you can see see this patch right here it was kind of starting to lift around this area with the sponge so i think like the brush is the best way to go but this br brush it did blend out quite nicely pretty good not with the sponge though I'm going to add just a little bit of here. There is this another color and from the color pods. Basically, this is called uh, cover pods and this is called color pods. My mistake. I just realized this is color pods and that is cover pods. This is number 11 and it is um, like a bright red. I want to attempt to use this on the eye or like a blush, but I feel like I will definitely regretted because i think it's going to be like too too pigmented but we're going to try anyways so i'm just going to take my blush brush <gasps> i i knew it was going to be this but i still went in with so much pressure look at this oh my god wow that's that's so creamy dude like so creamy and so nice look at that Imagine painting my whole face with it. I think now I want to. Yeah, I need to take a different brush altogether to blend that one away because that one is quite pigmented. Wow, dude, I'm impressed. Oh my God, the coverage. Look at the coverage. Not bad, not bad at all. And how much is this one? 225. Can you imagine? 225. this concealer does not want to get blended i don't think you can let it stay on once it's there it's there like it does not move so like usually i apply concealer right here and blend it away right but that blending is not like spreading on to the entire under eye so you have to like literally paint that part and then you know blend it out which is not bad but just something i'm not used to so i noticed it next i have a bronzer but i want to powder my face first and i do not have a powder so i'm just going to do that For bronzer, I have this uh, Choto one. This is called Cuppy Cake. I don't know if the shade will be dark enough for me. It kind of seems like a powder for me. But I'm going to try. I, I thought I'll go a shade up, but it looked like it will be too, too dark. And one thing I didn't really like is like the shade references or the pictures of the shades. Like the shade rains. The pictures are not there on the website for you to like clearly see and understand. Especially when you're buying in bundles. Like if you do select one item, you cannot, you will not understand like what shade you're getting you just have to like randomly pick one two three four five i picked like everything four or five because i'm in that medium rate so i'm like you know it'll work and that's how i pick this one as well but let's see how it goes on do we see anything at all like maybe like you know a little bit if i'm building it up i can see it a teeny tiny bit yeah not much though Compared to this side, does this look contoured? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely see it on my nose, which is nice. So I'm like, okay, now I can see the contour and it is right there. Moving on to blush. I have this Cuffs and Lashes blush in the shade number 220. What is this? 20 something and this is also no this is also same only bro this is also 225 and this is also cuppy cake blush I, this is how it is i put on a red blush and now i'm going in with this nice uh, bright pink one god knows how my face will be in the end i don't even have any idea what i'm going to do for my eyes and i'm wearing like a brown shirt so good luck to me That color is so pretty though. Wow. Most of the ones I've used till now are not bad at all. I don't know why I thought like this is going to be one of those brands again, which just like, you know, very gimmicky just for the price point, but the quality and the product might not be that nice. And because, you know, using different kind of products, you kind of understand what you like, what you don't like. You understand the difference between high end and like, you know, drugstore and 
this is not bad at all. Hmm. They even sent me a setting spray. This is their makeup story setting spray. They did not mention fragrance, but I can definitely. Ah, it, it literally smells like my dad's perfume. This fragrance is there for sure. It's not as strong maybe compared to like few other ones I've used, but it's definitely there. And thank God at least does not smell like alcohol straight up. The spritzer is not that great though. It's like not evenly spraying the face. It basically has propylene glycol, hydanthoin, PVP, isopropyl alcohol. It's basically just alcohol in this bottle, you know. Anyways, that's how, I mean, generally the ones I have, I like, you know, these two-faced one, etc. These also have alcohol in them, but uh, this like smells too much. It's for highlighter. <laughs> the shades I've done such a bad job with and usually it's never the case with me, so I'm so surprised. Next one I have, again, this highlighter. Why does everything like has the same name? Like, am I like reading it wrong or? This is also again called cup. PK highlight only so I am not sure what it is everything has 20 something and everything has cupcake on the box so I'm not sure if all of them are named the same uh, I don't know I honestly don't know but I'm going to try this I know it won't suit my this is how it looks it's that very champagne -y gold kind of thing very my um, range you know what I actually thought so funny I was going to say, uh, I think I don't think this suits me because you know this was packaged like this and I thought this is the color of the highlighter for some reason and I'm like white highlighter on my skin not going to work but luckily it's like proper champagne gold so I'm just going to take this and hit right here for initial hit not that pigmented or blinding but it's definitely building up also thank you so much for the love on the previous video you guys i just like you know wanted to sit and talk because i had like so much in me i was not in a good place so that you know telling you guys and showing you that not everything about us is just like glorified um so thank you so much for listening i woke up with such sweet messages all my friends kind of reached out and uh, all you guys have sent me such nice very sweet dms and comments or a lot of dms i got where people are like you know i can totally relate to you i'm in abroad and you know that's how my life is or i was there for like a few years and i was so miserable i'm so glad you got out even i got out too and it's like that's so nice you know that somebody they they said it's so nice that you know they had somebody to relate to and i'm so glad i was in that position and i know i'm not alone because i thought i am only stupid that i did not like it and everybody likes it so much highlighter is on let's move on to eyes and i have four eyeshadow palettes with me and i'm not sure what i'm going to use so the first one we have is the cuffs and lashes love eyeshadow palette I think this one they launched during Valentine's Day because that's that time around I got the PR. Next one I have is the Cuffs and Lashes Dancing in Rain. I have this handy dandy palette. Oh, everything is broken inside. The dark brown like kind of broke and it smeared all over the palette. But this is, looks like a kind of, you know, neutral eyeshadow palette. The handy dandy palette, one more one. Again, there is like no specific name of this. One thing I can definitely tell you already is like the packaging is not that great. And I honestly don't mind for the price point they're offering. Packaging does take a lot of money. That's why like, you know, for luxury palettes, just like feels so luxe. But this is like 200, 300 each. But this one they did such a good job so once when i saw this i'm like why didn't they put more effort in the other thing maybe it was too expensive but you know seeing these eyeshadow palettes these are so like the packaging is so flimsy and also like inside the quality it's like not neat like everything is like kind of you know uh, what do you say <laughs> flared up i don't think it's flared up i don't know the word you know the shadow is here etc so packaging is like very flimsy you literally cardboard you can like tear it off in with your hands as well but i'm just like you know mentioning it just so you know even this like looks like my uh watercolor paint ka dabba in my uh, you know childhood does not have like any sturdiness to it it's just like 
flimsy. Literally looks like my watercolors, dude. Like, can you see that? I think today I'm going to go in with the these two palettes and like do an eye look. I'm going in back with the color pot to sorry, this is the cover pot to you know just carve my brows and add it as like a base for the eyeshadow. First, I'm going in with this um, really deep plum maroonish pink kind of shade. It's all kind of shades. It's quite dark in the pan, but I don't know how it's going to be like on the lid. Okay, it took me a minute to kind of get and build that color there usually does not take so much time and like you know there's literally no fallout in this pan uh, so I sometimes when that does happen like the colors are so hard to like get on the brush so to like do so much you know apply so much pressure tap off and then like go in there's no fall, fallout that's a good thing but sometimes I don't mind fallout it's going if it's going to like give me more pigmentation easily this I have to like you know tap and work so much to it to come to this point Okay, not that easy to blend as well. So next I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I want to like blend out the edges using that. Okay, so definitely took a minute to uh, blend. I've used inexpensive eyeshadows a lot of them before. I've reviewed a lot of them. I've linked them here. But it they don't take this much time to blend. I feel like this is taking a little bit more extra than what I am used to. But in the end, it does look um, pretty cool, right? Like I do like the shade. I want to add a little bit of glitter because why not? So I want to go in with blue can i i don't know i have this something going in my mind that i can just might as well uh, go in with pink i want to go in with pink under the eye i want to do it without uh glitter glue first and then if i think like i need one then I'll, let's see let's like nice right i don't mind it actually i just wish i just i added like a little bit of shadow before going in because i feel like it would have made it look a lot better but nevertheless i think it's doing a good job next for lips they actually sent a lot of uh, lipsticks i think they recently uh, launched this one so they sent me four different shades i'll swatch all of them for you right here bro this literally looks like What's the name? Blur Cosmetics, I think. And they literally have the same lipstick. Multiverse. I don't know if the packaging is cheaper like this one. So that, that multiple brands have the same packaging. Or like just everybody's copying everybody. I don't know. This is the Cuffs and Lashes Matte Liquid Lipstick in Multiverse. In Wari Jawan. Little lighter to the previous one. This is the Gloss in Viral. 08-2015 I think I'm going to go in with uh, Wari Jawan These are the li lipsticks I was talking about This is from Blur Cosmetics See, literally the same package This has blur on it And this has cuffs and lashes The formula, Blur Cosmetics is a little more thin though um, But like, can you see? Same packaging I'll just quickly finish the rest of the look and I'll be right back. And yeah, guys, that is it. That is the finished look. I just put on mascara, add a little bit of gloss. Let's quickly go through each one I've used and I'll tell you guys my final thoughts. The first one we've used is this uh, a cover pot. I think it's a decent concealer for the price point. I like the finish it's giving under my eye. It's not caking up. It's not bunching up. It does give a really nice uh, finish. You can see it looks really nice. The shade, I thought I was skept skeptical about the shade I was kicks. Oh my god. The shade I was skeptical about. But then it, it looks decent, right? On the under eye, actually, I don't mind. And the finish is pretty decent as well. I don't know any other concealer which is just like 225 and does such a nice job. So yay for that. Then next, I used this paint pot. I really want to try more colors. But because, oh my god, like, did you see? Like, I had to rub so much for me to get rid of that pigment. And it is so intense. So I want to, like, try different colors and overall face painting or everything this is 
stunning then uh, we used what did we use the sponge is also pretty uh, decent it's like a regular sponge i did not find anything exceptionally nice especially when i was blending under the eye it did not actually really work well the brush did a really good job for the paint pot though it, then next for these two things both of these are called cupy cakes 20 something only uh, I, I i actually thought this contour one would be like my shade for powder but actually surprisingly you can see on my nose like if without using foundation or concealer if i use it then probably it will not show up but with concealer and powder around my eyes you can see a bronzy effect even around the corner perimeters of my face i had to build up a lot though so and that's the thing which is consistent with all these products is that you have to keep on building it it's not like a, a one time whoa pigment kind of products and it's, it's good a lot of time like especially this happens to a lot of mac products as well like they you know are very lightly pigmented so it makes easy for people to like kind of build on especially for makeup artists who do on others like it's like it's not wo wet ones so this kind of gave me this same way but you do have to build up a lot more than that but the way it finished like on my face it looks really nice up close i do not see anything balling up like it really just like blends into the skin it's not sitting or adding any texture it's properly matte and i really like that about the and these two things so the blush and the contour both of them actually worked really well we have a lot of hits in this video you guys then what did i use the eyeshadow palettes are not a big um yay for me like i had to blend a lot a lot a lot and i have like cheaper eyeshadow palettes like i told you which i reviewed i'll link right here which are really nice for the same price point but i do not have to like blend so 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 much but nevertheless once it's blended like it did pay off really well like the pigmentation is nice the way it kind of blended out is nice but i have to do a lot of work and i don't expect like beginners or starting people to put that much effort to eyeshadow because then really for them they'll be like you know two three swipes and it's supposed to blend off and i know a lot of people think like that unless like you know what is the end goal you want you you don't keep on blending until that point so with that perspective i say it's a little difficult to blend i actually have this eyeliner i really want to try you know i thought i'll use it but i didn't let me just put this on right now and i'll give my review instantly i hate putting liner after i do mascara it's just like so difficult but oh my god not bad at all the shade is pretty cool as well this side the right side which i first did the pigmentation was quite good and it went on like so pigmented the left one i have to like keep on blending it more so i don't know what is happening i have to probably try that a little more to have my final thought but the liner is all over my lashes so yeah, that's like a 50/50 now so let's pause and continue with what we've already uh, tried after that we tried the highlighter and the highlighter is okay again the finish is nice but it's not something i usually uh, go for it's not glittery or you know too much it's it, it, it is nicely blended but i can still uh see that it is there i usually like really creamy creamy highlighters it's just my uh, preference but other than that if i judge it like on the basis of it it is pretty uh, decent again for the price point they did a really good uh, job i just wish it was a little more creamy though for me. definitely it's a lot better than other high end ones i have used this is like really nice like if you are somebody i think for somebody who's uh, you know who's into like minimal makeup you would really like this one because it's like not too much and even if you like go in with a very heavy hand you'd not be like whoa like you have a lot of space to build it up with this the last one we've used the are lipsticks and i do like the formula it's comfortable to wear i'm not sure how long it will last but it did dry down completely matte so that's good so pro probably until like i eat something really oily or something it won't break down i definitely put on a lip oil so if i like do anything or touch anything it'll definitely break but i don't just like i don't know i just don't like a matte lip other than that like the way it went on the pigmentation was quite even the wand was really nice i could like do really nice even lines with it so like the lipstick is nice really similar to the blur one though i should mention this without this how will i end this video this is such an amazing brush that i've got from cuffs and lashes this is an eyeliner or lip brush Oh my god this is one of the best brushes i've used like look at how precise that tip is it's so easy to apply eyeliner or lipstick or anything and it's so precise and so sturdy this brush stood out to me so much it's one of the best ones this is called c 
S08 if you want to get a nice liner brush blindly get that one it was it is amazing that's it for the video you guys uh but before going we also have shout outs which we do on this channel now so uh today's shout out goes to priyanka reddy like literally posting wrote an entire paragraph because i was feeling bad and also she was sh sharing her story so thank you so much priyanka for always supporting if you do want to be part of the shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and i will give you guys a shout out and thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what more you want to see i love you guys so much make sure like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye, bye.